because my life is just that crazy. Hey cheap bitches, I'm Rob and this is on the Cheap Tips Cheap Laughs. Now recently I was cleaning out some of my stuff and I came across this magazine that I used to write for. Yes, your boy was a writer. Four articles actually, not bragging or anything. And in this magazine I used to write a column called The Frequent Auditioner, which basically was just some funny stories of when I used to audition as an actor. So after reading a few of these stories, I figure, hey, why not share a few with you and make a story time video. Everyone likes to laugh at someone else's downfalls. Why not let it be mine? So let's just get to it. I need to be drunk for this one. So this story actually took place when I used to live in New York, but on this particular day, I just so happened to be staying in New Jersey visiting my family. I remember waking up that day fairly late because I didn't have a job like most actors. As an actor, you're more often between jobs than actually having one. And in the mornings, I would do my daily ritual of going online and submitting myself for castings. Homeboy gotta get paid. On that day, I just so happened to find a casting that was for a very reputable magazine looking for a fit model. A certain magazine company, which may or may not contain the letters G and Q. Now a fit model is someone who just tries on clothes that happens to be the same proportions as someone they're looking to maybe shoot with. Like a celebrity or a more famous model. They don't want to waste that person's time, so they waste your time instead. Even though I had done some amateur modeling at the time, I was in no means a professional model. But this was just fit modeling. I watched enough America's Next Top Model to know what I'm doing. I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! Anyone could do this. YOLO. So I decided to submit myself even though I knew that it was almost 11 o'clock and the casting was for 12. But being that I wasn't a model, I didn't think they would cast me anyway. So I said, what the hell? Let's just shoot for the stars. Yo, yo, YOLO. Well, 20 minutes later, I get a phone call from the casting agency telling me that they wanted to hire me. <laughs> what? Oh, sh here I am in New Jersey, not even showered, hair's a hot mess, that's like any other usual day. I just wasn't prepared. So I told the person I would love the job, but I was in New Jersey right now, I didn't even get ready yet, and it's gonna take me some time, so I would be a little bit late. And she assured me that, look, you don't have to like get camera ready, they're not gonna take pictures of you, you just gotta show up. So I was like, oh, okay, that's... Easy. So after I get off the phone with her, I just like throw on last night's clothes, run my fingers through my hair, grab my luggage, and I'm out the door. So I jump on the train, I get into New York, and it's getting closer and closer to the time that I have to be there. I'm not gonna have time to drop off my luggage at my apartment, so all this is gonna have to come with me. I'm talking like a big ass rolling bag, a book bag, a laptop case. I'm looking like a bag lady. Bag lady. So I go into this very large building in Times Square and I enter a lobby that has like nobody there. You just have to like talk to someone on an intercom and they decide if they want to let you in or not. I think they were having doubts once they looked at me so they made me stay out there for quite some time. But when they finally did let me in, I was escorted into this little office space where I meet another model. We'll call him Chad because he looked like a Chad. This guy was gorgeous. I mean, perfect proportions clean cut, nicely dressed, and here I come in looking like last night's leftovers. Then eventually the stylist coordinator, I don't know what the hell he was, comes walking into the room. This very tall cunt bitch, and I don't use cunt bitch loosely. He was a cunt so he comes in and he smiles at the other model and then looks me up and down and says, and you're here for... Oh no, this bitch just did not read me. I'm a model bitch. I was hired. I didn't say it like that. I said a little nicer, but I was thinking that. So I just, you know, nod my head and just smile and act like I'm supposed to be there. Then he goes to ask me, do you have like a book? Now a book is a portfolio of models work. I did not have one of these because I'm not really a model, but I didn't want to tell him that. So I just lied and said, oh no, you know, I was traveling and I didn't get a chance to go get it. I was coming right here from flight. You're right. That was a lie, obviously. So then he's like, well, I'm going to need to take a Polaroid of you. I'm like, okay, it's a piece of cake. So as he gets ready to take the picture, I'm like, Rob, this is do or die. Use all the things you learned on Top Model and strike the fiercest pose that you can right now. So I give him one of these. I swear that's my best model pose. And as he's pulling the undeveloped Polaroid out of the camera without even looking at the picture, he says, thanks, we're done. <laughs> we're done? And he's like, yeah, we're done. That's all we need from you. 
Okay. After what seems like mm, hours go by, I start to realize I think I just got fired. So as I'm processing all this, this guy is like literally pushing me out the door with all my 50 bags and I get escorted out of the building. I mean, it all happened so fast. I just don't even know if I had time to process. Uh, what just happened here? That's the way shit happens in New York. They don't give a bull. Did they not get the memo? I'm the shit. I guess the moral of the story is always be prepared and always look your best even when bitches say you don't need to. Once you get blacklisted by GQ, you're f for life. Why do you think I'm a YouTuber now? Anyway, that's all the cheap laughs that I have for you today. I hope that it made a funny story for you. And if you liked it, make sure that you comment down below and let me know. And also make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I make videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And make sure that you hit that alarm button so you know when my next video goes live. And I'll see you next time. Bye! I'm a model, bitch. Well, so-called model. It's like the mid-afternoon and I'm already having a cocktail. Does that make me an alcoholic? That's to be determined. Recently, I was- Oh, it drops Just kidding. I think I need another sip for this one. Where GQ's- I shouldn't say GQ. Shit. Sorry, GQ. You're never gonna hire me for anything anyway, so until I give a shit about. I need another drink. Whatever.